What I was expecting out of TVEX was mostly because it was done in Europe to, to get to meet the European bloggers that are on this side of the Atlantic. I was at TVEX in New York and I got a chance to see my fellow bloggers and travel writers in the US, but this is just great to see who's been blogging in Europe, who's based there, and I guess to meet some of the, the PR companies as well. So it was, I think it was really cool just to be at uh, TVEX Europe. And the highlight, I mean, it was just every single workshop was which was really good because it was really targeted and niche so there was something I could draw and get from each of them, uh, each of them. so yeah, just everything was really, really good. So I'm get out of T-Bex was some new contacts, learn something new, I'm always trying to learn and you know what, it was achieved. So, and my highlights for me, first of all, was Copenhagen. Who doesn't love going to Copenhagen? Second of all, it was a really cool event space to have it in the circus. And then to see some of these guys I've never met before, but always talked to on Twitter or followed. And that was you know, a big highlight, especially seeing Andrew Evans and Jason Clampett, all these guys. And what else was the highlight? Meeting you was the highlight. I wasn't able to get to TBEX in New York, um, so I was really thrilled to find out that they were doing one here in Copenhagen, and which is much easier for me to get to because obviously I'm UK based. And I think the highlight, apart from, well there's so many highlights, the speakers were really good, I was one of the speakers, um, so that was a thrill for me. And um, you know what I was hoping was that that would increase my profile as well, and um, able, enable me to sort of connect and, and get my blog out to some other people as well. And um, also meeting PR companies. There are there are some sort of PR folk here, and because I like to travel and go to di different destinations, it, it's you know, great if I can make connections with those people to help me with you know, sponsoring trips. I think the highlight of TVEX in a lot of ways, in addition to stealing some of those secrets, um, was I had the chance of being part of the video workshop. And, and it was a, a group uh, that was very manageable. You know, there was 12 to 15 of us. Everyone got cameras and went out and did it. And to see them go out and us talking about the shots you do, how you develop story, and they go out on the video and bring back all these different viewpoints of Copenhagen. And I was so excited to see their excitement about it, because I do video. And, uh, and for them to like kind of taking some of their first steps, some of them had already done some, was a real highlight for me, just because I felt like, wow, maybe we did something good here. I visited TBEX in Europe because I was one of the speakers and I was hoping it would give Europe a card some exposure. It was a great event. I met lots of people in reality that I know from social media. The only downside was problems with the Wi-Fi, which is rather important to have up and running well at a blogger's event. What I love about TVX is the opportunity to network with other bloggers, share tips, advice, trade notes, experiences. We're all facing the same challenges, so uh, this was no exception. It was great to connect with new faces and people and, and get insight. Um, and the highlight for me was Andrew's presentation on uh, storytelling. It was fantastic. and got all kinds of tips that I'm going to use on my own blog. So I came to TVEX because I wanted to learn some new skills which I've done with the video sessions. I wanted to catch up with some other colleagues and I really enjoyed uh, putting faces to names of people I've met through the community. And that was probably the best thing that's happened in terms of meeting people. And then the added highlight was the behind the scenes tour of circus costume design when I learnt just how much needs to go into the design of a sparkly bra for performing artists so they don't tumble down to the floor. I came to TBEX um, to meet a lot more travel bloggers and PR companies, uh, get involved in uh, both different areas and see what they were talking to each other about, what was the question so they were pushing backwards and forwards. I think the highlight has been uh, really finding out all those answers and getting involved in conversations. What I came to TBEX for is really for the networking and to learn what other travel bloggers are doing to make their business successful. And have I gotten that out of TVEX? Oh yes, I always do. Whether I make one more net, you know, one more connection, or luckily I've made a lot, um, I will be more successful in my business now. Actually, 
I found it very inspiring. I've got a lot of new ideas about things that I can do. I see, you know, all of us work out on our own, so to kind of get together and put our heads together was really exciting for me. I learned a lot about marketing, um, branding. I learned a lot about telling stories. And I had some great writers in my own workshop, and it was wonderful to, to share stories and share experiences. Um, and most of all, I felt like I finally kind of tapped into a community, uh, personally, that I'd only ever been on online. When I came to TBEX, I was really hoping to make some new connections, to meet people, to do some networking for my blog, and especially to learn things from the workshops themselves. And for me, the highlights so far have been being in Copenhagen and the SEO skit. That was the first day. I thought it was very well done, very well written, very well performed. And the storytelling workshop today with Andrew Evans was terrific. And meeting all the people who I've only been following, stalk, stalking, following on Twitter for, for the past couple of years. So it's been very fun. What I was hoping to get out of TBX is meeting the people. I've been talking to uh, virally since uh, we started Spotted by Locals two and a half years ago. Um, via Twitter, Facebook, I've met a lot of people. I feel like I know them, but now I really know them in person. I think that's one of the highlights for me. Another highlight for me is uh, knowing more about, getting to know more about the PR side of uh, travel blogging. We haven't been involved about with that uh, a lot. I heard about press trips and things like that. So it's, it's a whole new world for me. I've had a wonderful time at the TBEX conference. I learned a great deal, much more than I thought I would. The speakers were excellent. I, there was a lot of hands-on, very practical information. For instance, I took a um, videography course and we learned concepts one day, went out and filmed, came back the next day, played with it on a Mac to edit the, edit the um, video that we took and I learned a great deal. One of the reasons I came to TBEX is that Regina and I, the co-author of this main scoop and I, we wanted to take our blog to the next level and increase our traffic, increase our earnings from the site, and get general inspiration when we come back with that information. I was hoping to get um, some information about SEO, a little bit of that, and mainly I took Andrew Evans' uh, course. He's a National Geogra Geographic writer, uh, narrative travel writing, because um, as a writer I always want to improve and get peer review. Um, and that's what I was hoping to achieve, and he gave a great course. And the highlight, I think probably all the social events, because you see these people on, on social media, and you have some kind of relationship with them online, but when you actually meet them, then you can put the image um, to the person and actually uh, form that in-person relationship. So that was the highlight. I don't have a lot of experience in video blogging, but um, after going into Kim's um, workshop on video blogging, I actually gained a lot of insight in making videos and vlogging and things like that, which is going to really um, improve the variety of content I've got on my blog. So hopefully, out of this blog, I've, um, I've come away with some things and uh, many more improvements to come. I was hoping to meet people that I wouldn't meet in the United States. I'm from Chicago, and I actually also was hoping, it's connected, to meet people that I already knew. So, for instance, the first time I've ever met Heather Cowper in person, or Karen Bryan, or many, many others, Nomadic Chick, a lot of other people, was here in Copenhagen, even though I already knew them, which is somewhat of the phenomenon that gives you a little bit of a weird tingle and a surreal feeling when you come to a, a real life meeting like this, when you're connected with people online. Um, and what I, a highlight for me was actually um, Andrew Evans and his Storytelling 101, the very last uh, session of TEDx in Copenhagen, and he he just killed it. He did a really good job. It was very inspiring. I had to restrain myself as an American from clapping or being otherwise loud. So it was really great.